We got a food fight in Washington going on, not over spending, over spuds. 40 lawmakers fighting the administration's plan to limit French fries in school lunches. This is over French fries. It is a counterattack, some say, is long overdue. Just yesterday, a group of health professionals telling McDonald's it should drop Ronald McDonald completely. Ronald immediately went to his doctor and is now on lithium. Anyway, they say that he's the reason some kids are overweight. So, who are the real clowns here? Nutritionist Tanya Zuckerberg joins me right now. Uh, let's just say she's not friendly to the fries or to Ronald. And unfortunately, she's in great shape. Um, I was hoping you had gained like maybe 50 <laughs> pounds since last we chatted, but that didn't happen. This, I think this is overkill. Which part of it? They're going after Ronald, and then, thank goodness for these guys, we have stopped the French fry madness. Okay, well, let's begin with what the issue is with the fries. They're trying to limit French fries in the school system, in the public school system. So I'd like to begin with some statistics. You know, why would they be going after our school lunches? Well, the school lunch provides one-third of our children's caloric intake for the day, and we want to make sure those calories are nutrient-dense. But what if it's just among the things? Like when you go to McDonald's, you get a well, salad, you get... Well, it's interesting enough. In the schools, you know, they serve French fries every day. And the American Dietetic Association found that French fries are actually the number one vegetable that children are eating. So if they're being offered on a daily basis, that's what your kids are going to be taking. And the issue is, it's not to say we don't want any French fries. We want to limit the consumption. So maybe only two days a week rather than the five days a week that they are currently being you know offered. all the farmers whose business are going to kill off doing that? Yep. And, you know, when we look at the economic impact that this possibly could have, we need to look at even bigger issues, which are our health care costs. From 2001 to 2006, health care costs associated with obese Americans increased 82 percent to $303 billion dollars. From 2001 to 2006, in a five-year so span. So why then, why, why then target a particular food group? This is just the latest. Sure. But, but then now Ronald. I mean, we have Ronald McDonald. He looks in pretty good shape. He brings kids in. Hey, kids, hope you have a good time. Enjoy the salad, the yogurt. He's saying it there. Don't eat the fries if you don't want to. Come on. Well, children associate clowns, parties with unhealthy food. And the fact is, currently, one out of every three American children are overweight. And do, you, do you have kids? I do. I have three kids. Three kids. Three and, kids. And do they ever eat fries? Of course. I don't overplease my kids. Do they kids. like clowns? They do love clowns. It all comes down to moderation, and that's what the school systems... Then that's fine. No, but that's what the school systems are trying to impose, because currently, Neil, fries are being offered five days a week, and all that this new mandate is saying is, let's limit it to two days a week. One more stat about going to these kids, and why this is important that the government gets involved. If a third of our kids are overweight, what's interesting is that 80% of overweight kids will be obese adults. 80% of overweight kids will become obese adults. And then those How obese do you know? adults, this is what this is epidemiological studies are revealing, that if you are overweight as so a child, if, if, you have a if, if you take risk Ronald of out as a adult. clown, and what's the yeah. new spokesman, Captain Hook? What, what would you do? Well, it's not, I, I'm, not, I'm not agreeing that we should take Ronald McDonald away So you're not like one of these food <laughs> nuts? No, I'm nuts, but not that bad. Okay, so you, you think that this is just a good idea and a reminder but you don't like the government going so far as to crack down, or you do? No, I believe that the government definitely has to get involved in the public school system, what they're offering, you know, the children for lunch, because of the health care impacts that being obese is having on this country. Gotcha. As far as banning Ronald McDonald, I think he has a place, but rather than pushing french fries, perhaps he could push healthier options such as apples. Okay, well, he commits suicide tonight. We'll know who to blame. <laughs> Tanya, thank you very, very much. Well, could it be the ad that sparks a revolution?